We have now reached the end of the 38th International Churchill Conference. On behalf of myself and my wonderful co-presenter, Catherine Katz, I'd like to thank all of our speakers and guests that we've been lucky enough to be joined by over these last two days. For more information on how to join or support us, visit www.winstonchurchill.org. And so with that, I'd like to welcome back our chairman, Lawrence Geller, to give the final words to finish off what has been a truly wonderful conference. Lawrence. Catherine, thank you for the introduction. Andrew, as always, magnificent. Uh, you are a, a national treasure, but it doesn't translate into money. <laughs> There's no doubt that uh, Russia uh, and how to deal with Moscow and the Putin clique will be a relevant subject for us for a long time. It's one that society will have to revisit and have to be cautious about uh, because Andrew said Andrew has set the bar high for a lecture but he also set the bar high for caution well Catherine said we've reached the end of the road at least for this year and uh, in Churchillian fashion we'll do it better next year so this is merely the end of the beginning rather than the end of the road. Uh, so I thank our sponsors. I'm very grateful to them all. And I, and I thank our speakers, who have been stunningly good. Uh, Justin and Andy have, behind the scenes, been incredible. And uh, Catherine and Catherine, you've set the bar high for others to reach. And uh, for all of us mortals, it's tough to meet that one. So thank you. Fantastic, um, really fantastic. Um, I, I have to say, I, uh, the audience here, it's unusual in a conference that you keep the audience, especially one that's gone two days, you keep the audience in place and coming back for more. And this isn't been short, it's been fantastic. And we've got people around the world, no less than 3,000 at a time, sometimes much more, listening to us and joining with us, uh, few in here. It's, it's really a testament to what we are, and it's also a testament to freedom. It's a testament to, to what we've put this conference to be, Churchill and freedom. Churchill and freedom are two words that are irrevocably linked. And for anybody to try and knock, or tear the, knock them or tear those down is as stupid a piece of revisionism as there could be. Churchill and freedom are linked, and this life well lived has, been, has proven it. Because we can never forget that freedom and democracy are the most precious gift and we have to have the courage, that precious quality, courage, to protect these, each and every one of us in our way. We live in an incredibly fast-moving world, and it ch changes come at us, barrage at us from every angle. But I do believe, and it was said earlier today, we are at inflection points, not an inflection point, but inflection points in so many aspects of our society. And this fast-changing world is going to challenge us, our children, and our grandchildren. But as Churchillians, we are blessed with the knowledge of a giant in history. And his broad swath of expertise will enable us to benefit from his experience and know that we are agents of change. We are agents of change. Why? because we have studied and we are blessed with the experience of a man, a giant, 
in so many aspects of, of our world. We can use that knowledge to reshape our own futures in whichever way, small way, or large way we can. So this makes us optimists, inevitably optimists. And I, I go by them, always think about it when I step into some crazy idea I dreamt up or somebody sold me, that dread naught, as Churchill said, for all will be well, and it will, because we're optimists. And we know one thing, and one thing for sure, that the broad sunlit uplands that Churchill spoke of are within our grasp if we stay as optimists. So knowing how many thousands have joined us at this conference humbles all of us at ICS. We thank you for your participation, your support, and know that that participation, that support, in whatever way of generosity, heart, spirit, whatever it is, money, that participation encourages us to be constantly improving and to be better and honestly, as Churchillians, we know one last thing. The best is yet to come. Thank you. Have, have a great evening, and thank you for participating.